up guys this is Anna Absolute welcome to my channel if you're new please consider subscribing and click that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload if you like fragrance you'll probably like my channel so just subscribe if this is like the third time you're watching me check the button maybe you're not subscribed yet but you love my content help me help you and uh, just trip on fragrance all day. Guys, so today I'm gonna be sharing with you my top 10 fragrances for fall. I'm a little late. I'm a little late, but better late than never, right? Right. So guys, um, basically this is uh, my top 10 for cooler weather as it's as the leaves start falling So if I thought the fragrance was better for winter, I left it out of this list. It's not in here. So beware of that okay <sighs> guys i missed you anyways i haven't filmed in a while like actually filmed so i just miss you guys anyways let's get into my list huh okay so at number 10 i have two different fragrances and that's because they're kind of the same to me just one is a little deeper and yeah so at number 10 my two that i chose were Mez's elixir de merve and Chloe's Nomad. These are at number 10. These are both spicy but fresh fragrances that I really love. I mean, how can you go wrong in fall with spice? Come on. So Nomad is warm and earthy. I get um, a lot of the oak moss and freesia in this one. It smells spicy but still fresh and light not too heavy um on me this doesn't project that much and i get about six hours longevity on my skin and um also please keep in mind that longevity and projection depends a lot about where you live and the humidity i live in alaska it's cold so uh yeah and it's not very humid here either this doesn't um last too long on me and it doesn't project too much but i actually prefer that um i can still wear this at work which I like, and I think it's just perfect for when the um, leaves are falling. So then I chose Elixir de Merve. Hopefully I should have right, by Hermes. Um, this is a deep, sweet, spicy fragrance. It has vanilla in it. It has this warm amber cord in here. Mm, and just spices. I freaking love it. Um, this lasts forever on me. Oh. Okay, you just wanted to kiss me, huh? This lasts forever on me, and this is not safe for anybody that just likes sweet fragrances. You have to really like spicy fragrances to get to get down with this one, but um, I love it, and it is perfect for fall, in my opinion. Next, at number nine, I have um, one of my well-known favorites, Armani Code Cashmere. Almond, orange blossom, and suede leather, leathery notes is mostly what I get out of this. On the dry down, the orange blossom becomes super sweet. Oh, I love white flowers. They're freaking bomb. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is sexy. This is deep. This is mysterious, but also can be worn every day. So sexy, so sensual, smells great. Um, in the winter, this lasts longer on me than it does in the summer. So if um, you've had longevity problems with this one, which is I have heard in a couple of people's videos, um, try it in the winter and the cooler months because on me, it lasts very long in the cooler months. And also this does project. I just feel like a badass when I'm wearing this. Think late night out with your girls, wearing a leather jacket, and just like all black. When it's cooler out, this is beautiful. I love it. One of my faves. So I've chosen uh, the perfect floral, I think, for fall. And it is, at number eight, Michael Kors Wanderlust. Ugh, it's just good. Mostly what I get from this fragrance is almond, um, jasmine, and sandalwood. Um, it's super creamy and rich and beautiful. And I think like the perfect heavier um, floral for the cooler months. 
So I chose that as one of my top fall scents, which I will be wearing a lot of. On me, moderate longevity and moderate projection. For the first two hours, the projection is pretty strong, but after that on me, it's probably like, like here. <laughs> That's how far it reaches out, I think. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, at my number seven spots. This might cause a little drama because on one of my first impressions, I didn't like it. <laughs> Guys, my first impressions are first impressions. They're not real, okay? It's just for entertainment and fun. So anyways, this is on my list and there would be another one on the list, but I don't have the full bottle yet, but I actually just bought the full bottle and it's on its way. So anyways, um, Velvet Teddy by MAC. This is a dupe for um, Tom Ford's Tobacco Vani. I didn't think it was too similar when I first tried it out, but I think when um, I first sprayed it, I just got a lot of the dry tobacco out of this. And um, once I wore it a little longer and kind of worn it throughout this past couple of um, weeks, it's a dupe. It's just like a dry version. Tobacco Vani is like a wet cigar, and this is like a dry, Swisher, yeah. Got to be careful when I say Swisher. Y'all might, you know, think some things about me. Yeah, anyways, guys, this is a honey tobacco fragrance that smells good. It's very dusty, like dry. Think dry, dry Swisher. Yeah, that's what it smells like, but it smells good. The sweetness in this is honey, and I love that too. If you like tobacco scents, definitely give this one a try. I know a lot of men love this scent um, in comparison to tobacco vanille. So if you are a dude, also consider trying it out and let me know what you think in the comment section, possibly. Um, this lasts forever and it also projects. So another plus. I still prefer um, to tobacco vanille over this, but this considering the price in comparison, this is a good one. This will give you your tobacco fix. And at number six, I have Alien Essence Absolute. Dude, I'll wear this to bed. It's so good. This is so good. So good. If you like Alien, but you are also a gourmand lover, you will love this fragrance. This, I have said in previous videos, is like a snickerdoodle version of Alien. The spices in here, which is orris and myrrh, come off a little bit cinnamony to me, is a way that I can describe it to you with vanilla and that same jasmine, just all mixed together and smells so good. Um, on the dry down, the vanilla and the spices really come out and make it more of a gourmand and definitely great for the cool fall months. I love it. Last forever. Mugler delivered with um, this Alien Essence Absolute. At number five, I have Divine Vanille by Essential Parfum. Divine Vanille to me smells like a nutmeg spiced tonka bean on top of a beautiful syrupy vanilla. Very like, it also kind of reminds me of hot apple pie on top of vanilla ice cream. It's good. This is good. Uh, it's a little resinous. It's beautiful. I love this fragrance on me. Um, it doesn't project much, but um, it does last a pretty long time on my skin. I've heard other people, um, including my friend Jennifer Latifa, I'm gonna link her channel down below, compare this to Herod um, by Parfums de Marley. Um, I just think Herod has tobacco in it. This doesn't have tobacco, but I've heard it compared to that. Still light, not too heavy, but be very beautiful. You can wear this casually or more dressed up or like with a cashmere sweater. This is very beautiful. If you like apple pie on top of vanilla ice cream, you will like this. There's no apple in here. It's just, that's what it smells like to me. 
could be so different on you but I think this is a good one and it's $75 for a full bottle for a niche fragrance that is pretty affordable so consider checking this out if you wanted to dip your little toes in some niche at number four I have a sexy fragrance that is pretty well known and that is Dior Addict Oh, de parfum It's good. It's good. It is a spicy vanilla. There's like a spiced tonka bean and a bourbon vanilla in here. Dude, it's just sexy. I don't know how to explain it. It's, it smells nutty to me, but it might be all the spices mixed with the tonka bean. I love it. It's long lasting, it projects, and it's sexy. It's that inviting kind of sexy. I prefer this over hypnotic poison. But then again, I haven't gotten a full wear of hypnotic poison, so why am I saying these things that people are gonna hate me for? Why am I doing that? <laughs> this is sexy, long lasting, perfect for fall. Perfect for fall. And remember, my fall is pretty cold. It starts snowing here in Alaska in fall already. So make sure you're subscribed and keep on the lookout for when my winter, my top winter fragrances come out because those are gonna be like more of the heavy hitters to break through the negative 17 weather that we have over here. Anyways, at number three, we have one of my favorites, and that is Athalia by Parfums de Marly. This is a sexy iris, grown and sexy, very classy, feminine, woody iris over white, oh, over vanilla with some white musk. Very long lasting. Projection is moderate but strong. I hope that makes sense. Like it doesn't reach too far, but when you're close, you can definitely smell it off you. This is beautiful. Ah, oh, it's sensual. Um, I wear this a lot and I'm really afraid because this bottle is not, um, oh wow, you can see it actually. I was wrong. You can see it, okay, I didn't put, I got a little dent in there. Anyways, guys, this is beautiful. Beautiful, I love it. The iris in here is similar to the iris in, what is that fragrance called? The iris in here is very similar to the iris in Insolence by Guerlain. There is a bit of a powderiness to the iris that is in this, but um, on the dry down, that sexy amber really like starts radiating off of you and that powderiness kind of goes away. Perfect for the cooler month and I think goes really well with like fall outfits. At number two, this one is newer to my collection but I did have a decant of it that I enjoyed thoroughly last um, winter, was it? Winter, end of fall, beginning of winter and that is Amouage Sunshine. Whoever said this is good for summer, we don't have the same nose, okay? <laughs> this is definitely a cooler weather fragrance to me. At first, I absolutely despised this fragrance. I smelt it and I was disgusted and I was mad. I was like, what is Demi and what is Delicious Delights talking about? This does not smell like apricots. This does not smell like everything that they were talking about when I was like binging their video last year around the same time. So I wanted to understand the hype. I really wanted to understand this fragrance. So I just kept spraying it like every other day. I was like, come on, there's maybe I'm missing something. Maybe my nose isn't getting it. Anyways, one week later, two, maybe two weeks later, I freaking loved this fragrance. It is addictive, super addictive. And I think it's that white tobacco in here. There are some leathery notes as well. There's osmanthus in this, which osmanthus smells like apricots. And oh, basically apricots, white tobacco, and leather. Think like white tobacco and white leather. There's like no animalic smell to this, but you can like get like a leathery texture if you can smell a texture. Anna, are you making sense? I don't know. Guys, our Marsh Sunshine is freaking beautiful and I'm so happy that I got this for an affordable price on Fragrance X. Oh, but this literally is like the epitome of fall to me. Would match any outfit in the fall, would make you feel classy, but also um, casual or dressed up a little bit. You can wear this literally anywhere. Armoire Sunshine lasts forever. Projection is also moderate to strong depending um, 
on your weather around you. Okay, and at number one, I'm super excited about this one, and I love this fragrance to freaking death. And I was real, I was having a very hard time about putting it on this one or saving it for winter. And honestly, I might just put this one on winters too. That is Lyra by Zerjoff. Zerjoff, however you say it. Don't get offended, guys. I just am an idiot. <laughs> so I do want to be totally transparent. This on um, Lucky Scent, this size goes for... $290. I got this for $200 from a friend. Hi Jess, what's up? But it lasts forever, 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 ever. Okay, and it projects and it's beautiful. And this fragrance is delicious AF. Okay, it smells like a blueberry lemon tart to me. If you like um, gold sugar and if you like um, Hane Maurice butterfly you will love this similar vibe not exactly the same at all but if you like those fragrances you'll definitely like this one that very foody scent that you get on the first on first spray kind of dies down and then this just turns into a beautiful rich vanilla like a dusty cinnamon vanilla that lasts hours. Zerjoff was not playing with this. Um, I hear a lot of comparisons between this and Lolita Lempica's one of one of her one of those older fragrances. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. Um, I hear a lot of comparisons between those. Um, that's that's been discontinued for a long time. So if you find any online, be very wary. They might be fakes. This is freaking beautiful, lovely, can't say enough about it. Number one, definitely for the fall. Like think about wearing this on um, family gatherings. People will just want to cuddle with you and love on you. That's my list for um, my top fall fragrances, my top 10. Um, if you want to ask me any questions, Leave it down in the comment section. Um, I love to hear from you guys. If you guys have any requests on videos, please also put that down. I'm gonna do more, I'm gonna do better on um, recording. I had a family emergency that kind of got me out of town for uh, over a week. So I'm kind of just getting back into the groove, but I missed you guys and love you and appreciate you.